And now here's the grafting I did just about two weeks ago. This was on, uh, this, this is pear on pear. And you know, it was only two weeks ago with dormant buds from the freezer. And they're breaking already. Two weeks and they're ready to go. And these are pears on pear. And this one, in fact, happens to be a Russian pear, Marshall Zukov. Very good pears, zone three hardy. This is graft, but I took a nice apple seedling. And I've got three different apples on it. They're all low down. And when this goes in the ground, they'll be all below ground. You see there where my hand is? And I'll have three kinds of apples coming up and I want it to grow as a shrub. No more than seven, eight feet tall. Now, uh, I try different stocks when I go gra when I graft. I buy them. This one is called M27. This actually stands for Mauling 27. It's supposed to be a dwarfing rootstock. I'm shocked. This is only two years old and it's five foot tall on Mauling dwarfing rootstock. So if I were to plant this, I plant this stock six inches deep in the ground, at least, to preserve the stock. This again is M27, or Mauling 27 rootstock, which is a British rootstock. And I've got three foot of growth. Incredible, one, two, three. A year ago in March, and it's three foot tall in a small pot. Figure that. This remarkable one here is a one-year graft of, of a plum called Lee Red, a beautiful plum. It's four foot of growth in one year and look at the flowers on it. Already one year, a one-year bud. Last year, a year ago, this was a tiny bud and it's tall already in a pot that's kept watered. This M27 shocks me. This is M27 again. Now, I grafted this with an apple called Goodland, which is a zone three. It's full of fruit. There's flower buds all over the apple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, people complain they can't get apple trees to flower. This is flowered one year ago. This was a bud. This is one called Patterson Pride. This is, was grafted two years ago, was grafted. Look at it, it's full of flowers. It'll set fruit. Plums, if you get pollinators, will fruit within one to two years, certainly within two years of planting them. Instant fruit growing. Look at them, and it's just incredible. A, a very, very good plum. This is a sweet cherry, actually grafted onto an Evans cherry. It's grafted down here, and I put several grafts on this. I've kind of bonsaied it. I've used some of the budwood, and look at it. It's, it's uh, four, three years old, and it's going to be full of cherries. You don't need a huge space to grow fruit. This will probably produce maybe... Uh, good watering, a pound of cherries. Good fun in a pot. I can plant it out, but I can keep it short. And it's a self-fertile sweet cherry. Last of all, I'd like to show you this. We did a video on this with lots of hits. This is just a peach. In its third year from seed, Peaches will flower in the second and third year. In the third year, you see they're full of flowers. And you have to watch. It's self-fertile. It may produce too many peaches. Some peaches are much bigger flowers too. Anyway, it's good fun. It's a lot better than a recreational vehicle that costs three times as much, right? 